Dear students, in our 10th standard, the 7th topic is the introduction to microbiology. And in this topic, definitely the question arises in mind, what is microbiology? Marathi madhe yala apan sukshma jiva shastra asamanto. When we see the different microbes in our surrounding, and actually they are present everywhere, in soil, in water, in air, inside the body also. And so microbes, they are present everywhere. We have studied the classification of microbes in the lower standards as the bacteria, viruses, fungi, protozoan and algae. The microorganism, they are studied, their processes, their products, they are studied. In the branch of the science that is called as microbiology and there are two branches of microbiology first is called as the applied microbiology and second is called as the industrial microbiology in applied microbiology there is the study of the enzymes proteins that we obtain from prokaryotic and eukaryotic microorganisms as well as the applied genetics and molecular biology also. Yes, Sagraya Gushtin sa abhyas apan applied microbiology madhe karoto. Kon kon tiya? Tar prokaryotic microorganism jase bacteria and eukaryotic microorganism jase fungus tiyas borobar protozoans yancha paso na aplela kai products mila hota yeta and jase enzymes hai, proteins hai and tiyan sa abhyas ya applied microbiology madhe kela jata. The applied microbiology is related to the enzymes and proteins. Parantu tiyamadhe genetic changes karna, avashatte tiya thikani character tiyamadhe anna, the desired characteristics are introduced in them by genetical changes, as well as the molecular biology helps in this process. Karan molecule level la proteins, DNA, he biomolecules zale, and ya level la microbiology abhyas karate kaam karate. The second branch of the microbiology is the industrial microbiology. The science related to the study of the use of microorganisms for the social, environmental problems. To solve them and related processes and products of them. Yes, sagran sa abhyas ya thikani industrial microbiology madhe kela zato. Industrial level la economical vichar kela zato. मुझे economical, social and environmental या तीन ही level वल microorganism सा अभ्यास करन हे industrial microbiology सा काम जाल and different products are obtained from microorganisms like dairy products like cheese, yogurt as well as the butter, cream these are the dairy products and other some chemical products some raw material of chemicals Wine, that is alcohol, vitamins, proteins, they are also obtained from the microorganism. And that is the study of, that is the application of industrial microbiology. We can solve the many environmental issues, problems like garbage control, garbage management, as well as to obtain the various products like alcohol which is used for making the power petrol, it is a fuel, it is also used in wine, it is also used in the medicines, in making of medicines like cup syrup, tonics and alcohol is used in the laboratory as a spirit. So many applications of the alcohols are there but it is obtained from the microorganisms and that is the study of the part of microbiology. Various dairy products we obtain from microbiology. And what are that dairy products? Like the cheese, yogurt, butter, cream and the lactobacilli. They are used as the bacteria to obtain the lactic acid. We can improve the taste, flavor of the such substances. And from ancient time, such processes are used to preserve the milk. And so milk products are obtained from them. Diacetyl is the substance produced in the fermentation that gives the taste of butter to that product. 
and so the dairy products are obtained here with the help of microbiology take the example first yogurt yogurt manjes dahi curd fakt he inoculation kelele manje virjan ghalun tayar kelele dahi manje yogurt and in industry the milk is pasteurized it is first of all heated then it is just cooled up to the warm temperature it is mixed with the that milk powder also to improve the protein content then the one is to one proportion the two bacterial strains lactobacillus delbrueckii and streptococcus thermophilus they are added streptococcus convert that lactose sugar into lactic acid and that can coagulate the lactic acid coagulate the milk protein tamo tela denseness enar hai ghatta pana enar hai and the that thermophilus that lactobacillus delbrueckii is playing the important role to obtain the acetaldehyde and that gives the typical that smell and the taste to this yogurt then we can add some other constituents colors flavors like banana yogurt strawberry yogurt nowadays can be obtained in the industry and they are used also the probiotic properties of the that yogurt are also increased due to the pasteurization पाश्चराइजेशन क्रिये मधे एक टेम्परेचर लीट के पुनः कूल के जास्त काल टिकत अगधी बटर मधे सुधा क्रीम बटर है यार कि सॉफ्ट बटर है स्वीट बटर है ये बटर तैयार के लिए जता ही प्रोसेस जी है ती वरली जी द बेसिक प्रोसेस ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द चीज बटर योगट दैट इज सेम इन मेकिंग ऑफ द चीज the lactobacillus lactis lactobacillus cremoris and streptococcus thermophilus are used in the that such making of the non vegetarian cheese the enzyme obtained from the elementary canal of the cattle that is the rennet is used but nowadays that protease is the enzyme obtained from fungus they are used to make the vegetarian cheese and whatever the cheese obtained from the milk that is first of all the dense mass is separated and the water that is called as whey is separated from that and then it is the mass that is obtained it is rubbed washed salted cut into the pieces and again it is ripened essential and again the microbes they are added in that colors are added flavors are added and it is uh, kept for ripening and such the cheese is then packed up there are three kinds of the cheese that the soft cheese it is not ripened it is the cream cheese it is the cottage cheese it is the mozzarella cheese second type of cheese after the soft cheese is the semi hard cheese it is the cheddar cheese it is ripened for 3 to 12 months and the third quality of the cheese is in the market that is called as the hard cheese and example is the parmesan cheese because it is ripened for 12 to 18 months and so cheese is also the dairy product that is used in the sweet home and making of the various that the products so in this way this is the first application of the microbiology that in making of the dairy products it is used okay so today we have to stop on this thanks all of you